Uh, fan mail come in yet, Burr? No, not yet, Ted. Good morning, everybody. I'm sorry right. I'm late. Uh, has Mr. Grant been asking for me? Uh, no, and it's a good thing he didn't see you come in. You know how crazy he gets when anybody's late. Yeah. Is he in there? No, he's late. <laughs> Is this a fan mail, Mayor? Yeah, I don't know, Ted. I haven't had a chance to go through it yet. I'm sorry. Chuckles a clown, chuckles a clown, chuckles a clown, 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 clown. This isn't the newsroom mail. Now, here's yours, Ted. <laughs> How come chuckles a clown gets more mail than I do? The morning prayer gets more mail than you do. <laughs> Mary, this is for you. A fan letter for me? Oh, I doubt it. It's from the United States Treasury Department. Maybe it's a refund. No, it's a letter. It's typed. There's a signature on the bottom, and it looks important. So, uh, what, what do you think? Oh, Mary, I'm sorry, deeply sorry. Wait, this, wait a minute, Ted, it's not that bad. I'm just being audited on my income tax. Just being audited? It's like saying you're just being drafted. <laughs> but isn't it funny how all of a sudden you, you get a letter and you feel guilty? And I, I didn't do anything wrong, I, I don't think. I, well, I always say it pays to have a great tax man. Cost me five dollars more a year, but it's worth it. <laughs> it's too bad I'm losing him. He's graduating and going on to college. Well, I don't see how I could be in any trouble at all. I mean, I, I keep complete records of everything. I, I, I keep such complete records, my friends kid me about it. <laughs> what do they say? They say, Mary, you keep such complete records. <laughs> They're some funny kidders. Well, I do. I keep the records and I, I declare all of my income. I, uh... I... I what? Uh... Well, I, I declare almost all my income. I mean, you know, if, you, if you're walking down the street and you see a dime, you don't declare that, do you? No. Oh, and if you're walking around the office and somebody tells you, you you won $10 in the World Series pool, you don't declare that, do you? No. And if you're uh, walking around your apartment and the phone rings and it's a college student asking you to type up his master's thesis for $75, you don't... Yes, you do. I didn't. They got you. Uh... <laughs> You're the only person I know who bakes chocolate chip cookies for an audit by the United States government. Yeah, well, Murray said it wouldn't hurt to make him feel comfortable. I didn't know you could get audited in your home. So if they find you guilty, what do they do? Lock you in your room? <laughs> Good luck. See you later. Hey, well, uh, Rhoda, why, why don't you stick around and sort of help break the ice? Oh, wonderful. Thanks a lot. You have a date with a $20,000 a year engineer. It's by road to see you later. But a tea man with an addy machine shows up and it's, why don't you stick around? Well, it's just that I'm very nervous. She'd get here and just like to get it over with. Well, you relax. You're making a big deal out of nothing. You know how those guys are. Uh -uh. You'll probably be late. I got a feeling this one is awfully precise. How, how can you tell? He made the appointment for 8.03. <laughs> it's 8.03 right now. <laughs> Hiya, I'm Robert uh, C. Brand from the Internal Revenue Service, and I wonder if either of you ladies are uh, Mary Richards? She's Mary Richards, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, it's just that uh, you're not the way I pictured you'd be. She thought you were going to be old and mean. And you're young and... Uh, mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> uh, come on in. Thank you, thank you. If you need to borrow any money, I'll be upstairs. Rereading the Constitution. <laughs> He's cute. Listen, I'm, uh, I'm sorry that I'm almost late, but I had a flat tire, you know, and it slowed me up a lot driving on it. You, you didn't uh, stop to change it? Oh, no, no, that would have made me very late. <laughs> now, this is a nice place. Oh, well, it's not really yeah. that nice. <laughs> It's very small, very inexpensive. Uh, it's, uh, this is the whole apartment. Uh, I, I even sleep in here. Uh, I sleep in my apartment, too. <laughs> you want to uh, plug that in, yes, don't uh -huh. you? Uh, well, right over here. Oh, fine, all right. Can I take your coat? That's very nice of you. Yes, uh, most people I audit never ask me that. Oh, no. they don't? No, I think they think that if, as long as I have all my overcoats, that I'll be leaving soon. <laughs> ah, good. A wooden one. <laughs> well, we'll just get this show on the road now, all right? Uh, uh, Mr. 
Rand, I, I, I want to tell you something. Yes. I earned uh, $75 typing a master's thesis, uh, $75 cash, which I didn't report. I just, I forgot. I didn't. I didn't forget. I just, I didn't know I was supposed to. But I, I want to report it now. $70, $75. So I'm reporting it. That's really very nice of you. It's really funny, though, because that's just the kind of thing we hardly ever catch. <laughs> It's going to be a very long night ahead of us, all right? I want you to sit down, relax, make yourself at home, and have a drink, all right? Would you like a drink? I'll have a uh, vodka and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> Just as soon as I fix it for myself. <laughs> would, would you like a drink? Oh, uh, a martini, yeah. A martini. But I'm not allowed to drink uh, while I'm auditing. It's highly unethical, you know what I mean? Uh. But uh, if I... If you're the type who doesn't mind drinking alone, then please. I type? Uh, no, I... Uh, I uh, Chocolate cookie is all I need. How about you? Oh, fine. Nothing unethical about that. No. <laughs> mm. All right, Miss Richards, as you probably don't know, all income tax forms are sent to our main office where they are analyzed, sorted, and processed by very high-speed computers. However, in your case, it was completely different. Oh? Yes, yours bypassed the computers completely and came directly to my desk. Why uh, did it do that? Well, uh, you had 18 cents postage due. Oh, well, you're a No, 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 none of that. No, no, no. We'll just put it right on your tab. Okay, 18 cents, 6% interest. That's six months. All right. Now, let's see. Do you have any of your, uh, any of your records handy? All. All my records. Okay. I have everything. I have saved all my receipts, my check stubs. I think just about everything you'd need, right in here. Oh, uh, I wonder if you have uh, anything in a nice brown loafer. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was a joke, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. I just, I figure why spend a lot of money on a filing cabinet? Just as easy to keep them in the shoe boxes. Sure. And besides, that way it's a great excuse once a year to buy an extra pair of shoes. <laughs> oh, huh, I see that explains it. Explains what? Oh, uh, well, the 1495 shoe deductions. Under office supplies, the United States government will not allow that. I'm sorry. Oh. All righty. Fine. Now, what have we here? This looks like an ice cream stick. Yes, it is. I can explain that. You see, uh, last year I took a lot of YWCA kids on a, a picnic, and uh, while we were in the park, I bought them each an ice cream bar from the man in the truck. So uh, I put it under charitable donations, and the amount is written right there. I see. Well, you know, I really hate to seem like nitpicking, but it's, uh, it's customary to have the salesperson's signature on the receipt. Yes, it is. Name and license number right on the back. <laughs> Son of a gun. Son of a gun. <laughs> See, that's, that's why I don't understand why I'm being audited. I mean, I keep such complete records. Lipstick, and, and $26 is, dollars for lipstick? Well... You see, Mr. Brand, I work in a television newsroom, and, well, you know the large markers you use for the cue... Well, no, you don't, but we use large marking pens for making cue cards, and we ran out. And the only thing I could find was a case of lipstick in the drugstore. Can you tell me this? Uh, was any of this uh, said lipstick ever used on, uh, on your own uh, per personal lips? Well, it uh, was my shade. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I'm sorry. It says here that you uh, declare your grandmother as a deduction. That's yes, true. that's right, I do. I send her $45 uh, every month. Right. Is there uh, anything wrong with that? That's really so admirable of you. That's really nice. However, it's not the least bit deductible. <laughs> that should do it. Oh, good. Then we're finished. No, uh, not at all. Not at all. I have a feeling this is going to be a very, very long, drawn-out uh, process. So uh, we might have to go back six or seven years, for all I know. Anyway, it all gets very, very messy, and I'm really very tired of uh, talking about business. Me too. I don't know if I could take any more tonight. Yeah. Well, uh, I wonder if uh, maybe we could uh, 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 grab a bite to eat. What? Nothing. I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> yes, you did. You said something. I just, I didn't hear no, it. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I, I... Well, I just wondered if, uh, well, if maybe we could have dinner. Oh, well, no. thank you, but no. I, uh... No, I know, no. I, uh... No, that's, no, I know. It's dumb of me, it's dumb of me, huh? That's, uh, I never asked anybody I was auditing out to dinner anyway. I don't know. What, I'm crazy. Well, I... No, look, uh, yes. I... Yes, that would be nice. I would like that. Um, well, you know, um, 
I'm auditing this Chinese restaurant downtown, and they... <laughs> well, they've got just a terrific subgum duck. It's wonderful, if that appeals to you. Yes, it does. I wonder, could I use your, your telephone to make a reservation? Yes, you may, sure. Thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, well, well, now here comes another first. Uh, I, I really never asked this of anybody I'm auditing before, but I wonder if I... I don't get paid till tomorrow night, could you loan me $10? Uh, <laughs> sure. Thank you. I'll do that. Is a bribe deductible? <laughs> it's a joke. Amur, have you finished my editorial analysis of the president's speech? Oh, thanks, Murr. Did I agree or disagree with him this time? <laughs> Read it. Be surprised. <laughs> oh, good. We agreed. I like to agree with the president. A lot of people are afraid of controversy, but I always say, take a stand. <laughs> Say, what the heck are you talking about? Girl Scout week. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mary. Mary. Oh, hey, uh, what happened with your tax audit last night? Nothing happened. Nothing, nothing happened? Something always happens in a tax audit. Now, come on, tell us what happened. Well, nothing happened. He asked me a few questions, and then he took me out to dinner. <laughs> took you out to where? To dinner. Dinner? I was audited once. He didn't take me out to dinner. <laughs> well, uh, what happened after dinner and how much of a tax refund are you getting? <laughs> Look, guys, I know this is going to disappoint you, but here's exactly what happened. He took me out to a nice ethical Chinese restaurant where we had ethical subgum duck. In between bites, he asked me questions about my grandmother. Then he uh, drove me home. Uh, yes, he opened the car door for me, and that was it. Honest. Okay, Mary. <laughs> Mr. Nisroom? Uh, yeah, kid, I'll take those. I'm uh, sorry, I don't have any change. Oh, I do. Good. <laughs> well, uh, were you expecting roses from anyone? Well, not me. How about you, Tan? No. Well, I wonder who they could be for. Well, they're for Mary. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Who's Robert C. Brand? <laughs> tax auditor. <laughs> a refund so soon. I lent him ten dollars and he's simply paying me back. Well, what are the roses for? Interest. <laughs> Too. That had to be the world's largest chef salad. What'd you expect? Did you check the size of that chef? <laughs> I gotta get back to work. I just came up here to check out what new loot you got from old Robert C. Is this it? Yeah, it's a candy gram. He likes to send me presents, but he doesn't do it unless it's related to business. How is the box of candy related to business? Please bring last October's check stubs. Mushy, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting this in my mouth. I should just apply it directly to my hips. <laughs> you know, he has been taking me places and sending me presents for over a week now. I just, I don't know what to say to him to make him stop. How about stop? Buddha, I just explained to you through an entire chef salad that I can't do that. It would hurt his feelings. And I can't do that. Mary, are you going out with him because you like him? Or is it because you're afraid if he doesn't like you, he'll send you up the river to the big house? <laughs> you know, it is a really weird relationship. I don't even know if we're going out on dates. Do you dress up? Yeah. Then it's a date. <laughs> but he calls me Miss Richards, and we talk about withholding a lot. Then it's not a date. It's just steady auditing. Yeah. <laughs> Newsroom. Yes, this is Miss Richards. Well, hello, Mr. Brand. Miss Richards, Mr. Brand, I don't feel I should be hearing this. Will you shut up? <laughs> what? Oh, sure. Fine, yes, I'd like that. All right, I'll, I'll see you there. Bye. Rhoda, I just did the dumbest thing. What? I just made a date to go right back downstairs and have another lunch. <laughs> Uh, just a second, I'll see. Is there a bottle C. Grand here? Yeah. Oh, no, that's uh, uh, Robert C. Brand. Phone. Thank you. Hey, now listen, don't talk too long. This phone is for takeouts. I understand. Hello? 
Oh, hi, Mr. Jackson. Ye yes, well, no, I know that I'm still working on the Mary Richards case. I know I have other cases to do. Yes? Uh-huh. Well, no, doggone it. You just have to tell U.S. Steel to wait. Uh-huh. Well, uh... I, well, uh, anyway, I should be finished with, uh, with Mary's case in about, uh, well, very, very soon. Thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Jackson. Hello, Mr. Brand. Hi, Miss Richards. Uh, would, you, would you like to sit down? Okay, you ready to order now? Yes. Oh, hi. Uh, <clears throat> the special for today is the complete 89-cent filet mignon steak dinner. <laughs> well, Anna, do you know what you'd like to eat? Uh, well, I'm not terribly hungry. Well, why don't you just have a, a salad? Uh, well... All right, I'll tell you what. I'll have this special and give the young lady a uh, chef salad. Again? <laughs> I eat here a lot. I'll say. <laughs> Well, listen, while we're waiting, we should get some business done, all right? Well, uh, Mr. Brand, you know, I don't think anyone here would uh, turn us in if we didn't discuss business. Uh, no, I, I, I think we should uh, do some business. Well, we didn't do any business when we went to the movie last night. Oh, yes, we did. I'm auditing uh, the usher. There. Oh. Uh, now, Miss Richards, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of stumped by this deduction here on, on Schedule B, and I, I can't quite read your writing. Is this a, a four or a nine there? I think it's a four. <laughs> Mr. Brand? The, that was me, yes. Oh, Miss Richards, I... Uh, I don't know what came over me, honestly. I, I, I saw you leaning over Schedule B like that, and I just... Oh, I'm just such an animal. I don't know. <laughs> I've never kissed anybody I've ordered it before, I promise you. I've had, I've had plenty of chances, you know what I mean? But I, no, no, I, no, I know what you must think no, of me. You no, you don't. No, no. no I, I feel so cheap. I feel... Mr. Grand, there is no reason for you to feel guilty. It was okay. Just, just okay? Well, nice okay. Miss Richards, uh... Yes? Under uh, charitable deductions, here you have an, an item about uh, <clears throat> about ice cream bars. Now, Mr. I think Graham, we covered the ice cream bars. Of course. Okay. Oh, now here, uh, this one under uh, grandmother deductions. Mr. Brand, we, we we have covered everything there is to be uh, covered. <laughs> Did we really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Just seven years, just like that. Huh? <laughs> Does that mean that you're finished with the audit? Yes, it's uh, it's finished. Yes. Do, do you have uh, any idea how much it will be? No, no, I, I have no idea, but uh, well, I, I'd like you to know the fact that I kissed you or, or, or didn't kiss you has no bearing whatsoever on, the, on how much you owe, you know? I understand. Oh. <laughs> Special for the gentleman and uh, the usual for the lady. Where do you put it, honey? <laughs> Going through my checkbook, looking for mistakes. Isn't it a little late for that? I thought he finished your audit. I'm trying to find some extra money. I have a feeling I'm going to owe it to the government. What makes you think that? Well, for one thing, I haven't heard from Robert in a week. Now, you know that's got to be a bad sign. Not even a candy bar, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know the funny thing? I, I really, I kind of miss him. Look, hon, it, it can't be that bad. I mean, he kissed you, didn't he? Yeah, but he said that the fact that he kissed me would have absolutely no bearing on whether I owed the government money or not. Anyway, he missed. He missed? Well, he, he just sort of grazed me. Grazed you? Yeah, a couple of times. Whatever you say, Mayor. See you later. Right. Hi there. Did you find any of that extra money yet? No. Too bad. <laughs> Mr. Brand, you're here. I've, uh... I, th I thought you'd come in the mail. I mean, I mean the answer. I'd love to come in the mail. Well, please, come in and sit down. Well, uh, actually, this won't take that long here. Well, uh, do you mind if I sit down? Uh, the, uh, the amount you owe is, uh, is on the inside. Just please make a check out to Internal Revenue Service and mail it to your nearest district office. Eight 
thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars. Oh no, no, you don't understand. No, that's your entire income for last year. Oh, no. thank you. No, this is what you owe, right well, here. I, well, I can't see it. Where? Right here. Sixteen dollars and seventy-three cents. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you don't have it, do you? I'll loan it to you. I'll give it no, to you. No, no, it's not. I'm just so very grateful. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you, you didn't cheat. Did no, you? no, ma'am. I, I would never cheat, ever, ever. I, uh, well, I thought about it for a second, but I would, I would never, never, never cheat, really. Well, uh, well, I, I just want you to know that I'm, uh, I'm really very happy for you. I really am. You know, your face, uh, doesn't look happy for me. Uh oh, really? <laughs> That's funny, because it, it's it's really very very happy for you. Really. <laughs> and, and, uh, in fact, my uh, my and my entire body is 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 very pleased. <laughs> uh, you know, in in the uh, in the six and a half years I've been auditing people's taxes, I just like you to know that uh, yours is the best. <laughs> really. And, uh, Thank you. I've enjoyed doing you more than anybody I've, I've ever done before. <laughs> well, you, uh, you know that, uh, that kiss in the restaurant. I mean, that, that was no accident. I mean, you knew that, didn't you? Well. <laughs> we really had some great times, didn't we? <laughs> the ice cream sticks. Remember the ice cream yeah. sticks? And your deductible grandmother, remember her? <laughs> We really had some great times, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, well. So why are you so... Uh... So what? So, so what? So, so tremendously uh, depressed? Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, because uh, the good times are over. So that's, that's all. Fine. They don't have to be over. They don't have to be over. Oh, come on. Please, Mary, don't uh, kid me, all right? Because I've been in this business for a very long time. I know that when I'm auditing people, they, they're just never too busy to see me. You know what I mean? And the minute it's over, it's over. So please, you don't have to pretend, Miss Richards. You don't have please to pretend. Pretend? You what? I didn't pretend. I did not go out with you just because of my taxes. I mean, look, the audit is over, and I would still like to go out with you. So, Robert, I, I must like you. All right. How about dinner tonight? Fine. Fabulous. OK. Well. I can't because I gotta work tonight. <laughs> all right, no, do you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna quit. That's what I'll do, I'll quit them all. And I'll, no, I won't, I can adjust. I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again. U.S. Steel can just, just wait. Now, we have a date tonight, right? Yes, we do. All right. <laughs> I'll pick you up at uh, 8.57. I'll make it uh, nine ish. <laughs> can't go out next Saturday night? No, I have to go out of town. Oh, well, um, well, we'll do it when you get back. All right. Let's see, I'm going to be back and forth a lot. I'm going to Boston, Philadelphia, LA, St. Louis, Detroit. Gee, that's mm. some big company you're auditing. No, it's a halfback on the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> how, about the, how about the third? Third? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. Good. Now, how about, uh, how about the sixth? Uh, Tuesday. 